what is up guys it is mercified here bringing you another video today of some java um i am continuing the java series that i have created and this tutorial is going to be on polymorphism so i have created this video probably about six times six or seven times in the past but i keep thinking i keep saying the wrong things and i'm not explaining it as well as I should be so first of all I'm gonna I'm gonna say I apologize for not creating this video in such a long time and I'm also going to apologize if you don't understand it completely um, hopefully you've seen my last tutorial about inheritance and extending a class with inheritance if you haven't go check that out now if you have you're in the right place so polymorphism what is it why is it a better alternative to inheritance and uh, how is it going to change your coding here we have a short picture demonstration to show you the idea of polymorphism now I'm gonna read out of this Java coding book um, its definition of polymorphism uh, just stick with me for a second because this is pretty confusing and it even says at the end of this in a new paragraph this sounds like a mouthful so I'm just gonna read it out the term polymorphism refers to the ability of Java to use base class variables to refer to subclass objects to keep track of which subclass an object belongs to and to use overridden methods of the subclass even though the subclass isn't known when the program is compiled okay take a step back breathe in the air and let's just digest what this means so here we have the employee superclass and we have three subclasses which are extending the employee class you have your manager class your secretary class and your desk job class now with inheritance if you are going to extend these three classes if these three classes were going to extend employee you would have to have method one method two and the two string in each class being overridden but with polymorphism this is not the case with polymorphism the compiler will at runtime figure out the appropriate method to be called so in the case of desk job the only method that is in this class is the two string method now this is being overridden from the employees two string method so if I'm calling uh, if I have a new desk job object called DJ and I have DJ dot two string DJ dot method one and DJ dot method two it's gonna report it's gonna return the two string from desk job but then it's going to see that method one and method two are missing. So the compiler at runtime goes up to the superclass, to whatever class is being extended, and it tries to look for these methods. Now, polymorphism can be used to the fullest degree. It doesn't have to be just one met one class extending another class. You can have the employee class extending the desk job class which extends the desk class, which extends the janitor class, which extends the roach class, which extends the verminator class. I mean, it can, it can continue for an endless amount of times. And if none of those classes below desk job contain method one and method two, and you call those objects, those classes as objects, and you call method one and method two, it's gonna keep going up the line until it finds these methods so with desk job it will return method one and method two from employee but it will return the two string that is being overridden now not having to override every method from the superclass is a very beneficial thing to programming it means that your superclass can have the defaults and then each of your subclasses can override the specifics so where employee has method one method two and two string I may not need to override and change the two string from employee with my manager class now I am and the two string is being overridden but if I didn't have to I wouldn't have to have this two string so in the secretary class let's say the two string is returning I'm a secretary 
the secretary class says, well, that's perfect. That's what I want you ret to return. So it's not being overridden here. It's just going to say, okay, I don't have this class included, this method included, excuse me. So I'm going to go up the line to the extended class, the super class, and I'm going to return that method. So let's take a look at an example here. Here we have a run class, which is our tester class, the top class, the middle class, and the bottom class. Our top class has the public string get name, so it's going to return Leroy. Our middle class has public void get age, so it's going to print out 18. And then our bottom class has absolutely nothing. And I did this on purpose to purposely show you that when there is nothing in the class that's being called upon, the, the compiler will at runtime go up and find the appropriate methods. So when we go to our run class, I'm creating a new bottom object and I'm calling bottom.getName and bottom.getAge. So if this were inheritance, it would say, okay, get age and get name are not being overridden. We have a problem it would give me an error but because this is polymorphism and because it doesn't have to be overridden the compiler returns the appropriate messages that it's supposed to and this makes coding a lot easier and it makes it it makes it so your classes can be much slimmer and they have the appropriate information that they require so I don't have to keep overriding each method each time even if I want to use the same information, I can just extend it and the, the compiler will call it at runtime. It'll call the, the right one and it'll make my job a lot easier. This makes it so instead of having all my methods, let's say I have 10 methods in top, 10 methods in bottom, I don't have to have 20 methods. I, I said that wrong. Let's say I have five methods in top then I have five of those methods overridden in middle and then another five extended I don't have to have ten in bottom it's gonna already find through this line the appropriate methods polymorphism is your savior it is what makes coding efficient and useful and it is something that you need to learn to move on in the world so that is polymorphism. It is the simple technique of using the compiler at runtime to figure out the appropriate methods when being called. It's extending your methods and extending classes properly, and it's a much better technique to use over inheritance. So, if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you guys favorite it, I'm going to love you. If you love me, hit that subscribe button, especially if you want to see some more tutorials. My next one will be on lists, as requested by somebody in the comments. So, that's what's going to happen. Guys, I am Mercifies. This is the only channel where shit hits the fan like motherfucking lightning. And I'm fucking out.